with E3 coming up, I decided I'd talk to myself about Starfield. First, I hope it's actually going to be announced. And second, I hope it's actually a game. And third, I hope it's not a giant pile of crap. So for those who don't know, which would be nobody because nobody's going to watch this, Bethesda Game Studios has been trying to make a space game since 1996. Originally, they were making, going to make a game called The, the Tenth Planet. This was before Bethesda Softworks and Bethesda Game Studios split off. And at the time, there, there is a CG uh, pre thing for the game. Uh, the game never came out, and uh, there was some small amount of gameplay, but it sucked. And the game just never really went anywhere. And in about 2010 or so, they said that before Fallout 3 came out, they wanted to make a Star Trek game. So obviously they even want to make space games for a while. And I was thinking, the best part about video games, other than complaining about them all the time, is speculating endlessly about them, and then complaining about it when those things don't make it into the game. So what I'm hoping is in the game is a spaceship. And I talked about this before. Most space games, you you're in control of your tiny little crappy little ship, and if you do get a space station, it's just to make you some money. You don't it doesn't actually really do a whole lot for you. But like, it'd be so cool if Starfield instead of that tiny little crappy ship. You just have a whole space station, and then you have a multi-crew spaceship that you can fly around in, too. And this is all that issue with space games that are procedural and massive and gigantic and have the entire galaxy or universe in them. It's all this issue where you don't have anything whenever you go anywhere. All you have is your crappy little ship. So here you got your entire space station with you. And you'd be and in my crazy vision, you'd be able to build the space space and space station up over time and I would let you and I would have like the settlement stuff from far fallout 4 except good so you can actually build what they look like outside and inside and as your space station grows in size NPCs would come to live on the space station and of course you'd be able to walk around in it it'd be stupid not to let you walk around in it it'd be pretty cool because whenever you need to go somewhere you can just take your space station with you. Like you could have a thing where you can just warp around in it. Zip, zip, zip like that. And you have your little, your small, not little, smaller multi-person ship. And you can go to planets with it and see what's, see what's on those planets. It'd be pretty neat if the way they handled it with the missions were if you'd have some handmade story missions. I mean, I just don't see how you'd make a game without that because... Uh, you, they did with that, and they kind of did that with No Man's Sky, and that's a pile of junk. I mean, technically they were handmade, but they weren't. But it'd be cool if there were some, like, let's say, some pirates attack a ship, and when that happens, some different things could happen. Maybe the ship could be destroyed, or the ship could escape. It could destroy the pirates, or maybe it's damaged and it sends out a distress signal. And you get there, maybe the ship is on the planet surface. And in most games, you just blow up the pirates and say, all right, you're done. But it'd be pretty neat if you get there and you say, hey, pirates, what are you doing here? And then it'd be like an episode of Star Trek. Or instead of just immediately shooting everything in sight, you say, pirates, what the hell's going on? And then maybe, turns out, they're not really pirates. Maybe there, there's some crazy stuff going on in the ship they were attacking. Who knows? That's the Star Trek thing. I really hope they do something like that. And they could do that for a lot of things. Like, they could have a mission. Like, each ship has a mission, but they also have a hidden mission that might negate their actual mission. So maybe they're supposed to be taking space space dust to the space station, but actually they're sp taking space slaves. <clears throat> and maybe somebody finds out. It doesn't have to be you. They say, oh, I'm going to go take these space slaves from them. I'm going to go free them. And then they get into a fight, and then they start sending out distress signals or whatever, or you just happen upon it. And everybody's saying, hey, those people got space slaves, and those people with space slaves says, no, we got space dust. And so then you got to figure out what to do. Are you just going to shoot everybody? Are you going to talk it out? 
Because I'd like that in a space game. I'd like a space game where you don't just immediately start shooting everything in sight. Because that's what the space games really do. Even all the way back to Elite, my first space game was open world space game. It was uh, Wing Commander Privateer. And that you just shot everything. You did have escort missions. Those escort missions sucked, by the way. <sighs> Tired from all that talking. It'd just be really cool if 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 you couldn't just talk talk your way out of these combat situations instead of uh, just having to shoot everybody in sight and then saying, "Oh, that's the end of it." I mean, really, the the idea of the space station and all the crew ship. I was just thinking of Star Trek DS9. That's that's pretty cool. Except the space station can warp around in different places, and because you got a space station. Well, you can, you don't have to worry about, well, what is the player going to have other than their crappy little ship? We got a whole space station, so it doesn't really matter. Because you got your space station. Who cares if you can build stuff on planets? Because space stations are pretty cool. And, of course, if you want to really make it like Star Trek, you don't take your ship down to the planet's surface. You have to transport down there in the teleporter. But what's probably going to happen is probably just going to be a generic space game where you shoot stuff. And maybe, maybe there will be like some procedural generation for cities or planets. And that's the extent of uh, the original. Well, that wouldn't even be original because Elite and other games were doing that before I was born. So no, that wouldn't even be original. Well, I guess it's too late now because if they're going to announce it, that means it's going to be coming out <coughs> this year. What I know is they might not announce it. It might be a mobile game. It might be a clicker game. Would you like a clicker game? Yeah, I bet you would. Man, you you guys would be all pissed off, and so would I. I don't want a clicker game set in space. I want a Star Trek game set in space. Like a real Star Trek game where you don't shoot everybody. Star Trek Online sucked because all you do is shoot everybody. Man. I hope Starfield is good. Is good. If it sucks, I'll be so mad. Cause I only got like ten years to live, probably. Whenever my money runs out. I can't take care of these cats. Whatever. Anyway, Starfield better not suck, and there better be space stations in it, and it better not be No Man's Sky. It better not be Elite Dangerous. It better not be Star Citizen. Star Citizen's never coming out. And yes, I know this playable stuff, but it's never going to be finished. And Elite Dangerous sucks. No Man's Sky definitely sucks. And Starfield, you can do better. Mr. Todd Howard of BGS, you can do better than those games if you're making Starfield. It better not just be Elder Scrolls or Fallout in Space. It's like, oh, here's some, here's some space areas, but really they just connect these tiny little areas on planets, like in Mass Effect Andromeda, or like Mass Effect Dramamine. Man, that game made me sick. Better not, Starfield better not be like Mass Effect at all. I want a procedurally generated open world space game, and it better be awesome, or I'm going to poop my pants. Like old 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 Todd Howard's gonna come out on stage and say he's gonna say Starfield's coming out tonight because it's a mobile game and oh no that's what's gonna happen isn't it yeah the Montreal office is making a mobile game <coughs> who knows what that's gonna be they're probably the ones making Starfield oh well if Starfield sucks. I guess I, I won't have any reason to live.